Like the Himalayas, man, I'm up like a mountain, I get high. Like the Himalayas, man, I'm up like a mountain, I get high. Thanks for rolling up. You too, Blood Marley. And this is Certified Pothead. Smoking on one of my uh, nighttime spliffs. You know, you about to do Bird Club. Jump into these cannabis conspiracy theories, which I like to call cannabis spiracy theories. Today's theory involves King Midas. All right, folks, buckle up for a golden ride because we're about to dive into a conspiracy theory. This is a real nugget of genius. That's right. Forget everything you thought you knew about King Midas, the ancient ruler with the golden touch. Because, folks, I'm here to tell you it wasn't gold that he was turning things into. Nah, bruh. It was cannabis. Yep, you heard me. The king was cursed with the Midas touch, but it was weed. It wasn't gold. So this theory is about to grow on you. So here's a question. What would you really do if everything you touched turned into gold? Sure, at first you're thinking, sweet, I'm rich. But after about five minutes, you're more cursed than blessed. Try picking up your phone. Bam, solid gold brick. Want to sip some coffee? Guess what? You just created the world's most expensive mug. I, I'm going to have to stop. The world's most expensive mug that's now completely undrinkable. Hug your mom. Boom, she's a glistening statue. And now your family reunions are even more awkward. But wait, what if the Midas touch wasn't gold? What if it was green? If you're picking up what I'm putting down, you're already miles ahead. Imagine this. Instead of turning everything into shiny, useless metal, King Midas was turning things into glorious, sticky buds. The man wasn't cursed, he was blessed. His so-called golden touch, it was the highest form of man. Forget gold, this king was blazing trails, literally. Here's a riddle for you. A swirl in your pan as you hope for the best. With paint shits and skills, you put me to test. Some find me quickly, some wait for long. What am I turning dirt in the song? Here's another question. What kind of curse actually turns everything into solid gold? Sure, it makes for a sparkly story, but let's be real here. Gold's nice and all, but you can't eat it. You can't wear it comfortably. And it's not exactly useful for Netflix marathons. I mean, how many times can you look at solid gold before you start? I mean, how many times can you look at a solid gold couch before you start longing for a beanbag chair? Now, if everything Midas touched turned into weed, that's a different story. Every chair, extra cush. Every meal with the finest green. Every party, instantly mellow with the chillest vibes this side of Olympus. Midas would be the ultimate party planner. I mean, forget turning your cat into a gold statue. How about turning your room into the most comfortable cloud of cannabis ever? Now, that's a story you can pass down through the ages. Here's another riddle for you. I dig and I sift, but I'm not here to play. Hoping to strike it rich one day. With the pan in my hand and a creek at my feet, what am I searching for this treasure so sweet? Have you ever wondered what really went down in King Midas' kingdom? Here's where we really spark things up. If Midas wasn't turning things into gold but cannabis, his empire was less bling and more bong. Think about it. His treasury wasn't filled with coins. It was filled with, wait for it, jars. Jars upon jars of the finest herb. Each label with strange names like Golden Kush and Sativa Sovereign. His kingdom wasn't a land of greed, but a land of good weed. You see, while other kings were hoarding precious metals, Midas was harvesting some serious dank product. While gold is nice and all, it's a bit, well, stiff. Cannabis, on the other hand, that's the kind of wealth that keeps on giving. Talk about a growing economy. I mean, who's going to complain when your king is handing out free edibles instead of tax? Riddle time. I light up the dark and tunnels below. Got in the miners where few dare to go. Without me, they stumble. Lost in the night. What am I giving them sight? All right, put on your walking shoes for this one. What if the story got twisted over time? What if the real curse wasn't turning things and things into gold? I'm going to stop saying. But an overgrown obsession with his garden. That's right, Midas didn't get greedy for gold. He got greedy for green. The man had plants everywhere. He was knee-deep in ganja, turning every inch of his kingdom into the world's finest cannabis farm. That's why everything he touched turned to pop. It's not that he was cursed. It's that he couldn't stop growing the stash. You can almost picture the scene. His advisors in a hazy cloud of smoke trying to explain that maybe, just maybe, he should stop expanding the royal garden. But Midas, he's too busy. Inventing new ways to harvest. Screw gold bars, he says. We're rolling in a different kind of green now. His throne, leafy, 
his bed, pillowy buds, his crown. He knew it's made of the best flower. The guy wasn't cursed. He was just highly motivated. Comes another riddle. Carved through rock and make the ground shake. Without me, a gold rush miners couldn't make. With dynamite and drills, I cleared away. What am I breaking stones for pay? Would you rather have a bunch of useless gold or a garden that grows something way more valuable? Gold doesn't cure a bad mood and it definitely doesn't make a movie night better. Cannabis, that's the king's treasure. If you had the Midas toke, everything in your life would be 100% more relaxed, 100% more fun, and 100% more smelly. If you get gold plated, you'd be lit. But Midas' so-called curse wasn't a story about greed. It was about losing control over a hobby. You know how it goes. You start with a few house plants. Next thing you know, you've got a jungle. Midas was the same. Except instead of succulents, he had some real sticky icky. And while everyone else was off chasing wealth and power, Midas was just trying to figure out the best way to roll royal joints. The man was really high on life. So what's the takeaway? It's not that Midas wasn't greedy for gold. It's just that he was really into his new hobby. The Midas touch was nothing more than a guy who grew a little too attached to his plants. And honestly, we can relate. After all, we've all gone overboard with a passion project at some point. Maybe it's knitting. Maybe it's home brewing. Or maybe, just maybe, it's building an entire kingdom out of cannabis. But here's the kicker. Midas wasn't cursed. He was just stoned. And if you ask me, turning everything you touch into premium bud is way better than turning anything into gold. After all, you can't smoke gold, but you can definitely pass the royal joint. Till next time someone tells you a story of Midas, just nod and say, yeah, but did you hear about his real joint venture? The answers to the riddles. Gold dust, a gold prospector, a lantern, dynamite. I'll see you on the next one, bruh.